The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality is responding to a report we brought you last night. Local 3's Corinne Griffith joins us with an update. Corinne. In May, Local 3 brought you a special report on PFAS contamination in the Upper Peninsula. Just last night, we told you of the growing contamination in the Great Lakes and across the state of Michigan. PFAS chemicals are incredibly durable and able to move quickly through the environment. They have also been linked to serious health effects. All of which we now know the Michigan DEQ found out six years ago when an employee presented a 93-page report on the growing concern and risk of these chemicals and continued contamination. Local 3 reached out to the DEQ for a statement regarding their efforts following this employee report. The DEQ says that virtually all of the employees' recommendations have been acted on by the Michigan PFAS Action Response Team. They continue by saying, Michigan has moved faster than any state in addressing PFAS contamination. We moved quickly to protect people from potentially unsafe drinking water in communities with known PFAS contamination. MPART is taking this next proactive step to survey other parts of the state and gather important baseline data on the presence of this emerging contaminant in the environment. They also say that MPART is helping to coordinate the state's $23 million effort to locate and remedy PFAS contamination in Michigan. They also assure Local 3 that the state is prepared to assist local officials in enforcement against further pollution. Local 3 has received the full list of recommendations presented to the DEQ by their employee in 2012, as well as an updated recommendations list in 2017. You can find those on our website, upmatters.com. Reporting for Local 3 News, I'm Corinne Griffith.